In this text from Revelation, we read about the Alpha and Omega bringing the bringing a new heaven and a new earth, wiping away all tears. What is most important for you to hear today is that through all of the challenges that we go through, there is one way to beat them all. We go through challenges each and every day, and we all go through a struggle. We've been through a struggle in life that we have not thought that we need to sit down and think about a plan to get to where we need to go. What are some challenges that we face? One is learning who we are supposed to be, not to image someone such as a friend or popular idols, but being true to what we are supposed to be. In Revelation, the author John was excluded from his home, his town ended up on an island with nobody. <clears throat> he stayed focused, he didn't kill himself, he didn't give up or give into temptation to despair. He was able to listen, he was faithful to write down his vision that changed the lives of a lot of people. God has a vision that we all come together as brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ and build this one big house to make the world a better place without discrimination, without people looking down on other people, mm -hmm. talking about one another, worrying about what's going to happen. If someone comes to hurt them, we should have a straight and narrow image in our mind as what do we want to achieve. If we have an image in our mind that we are going to fail and keep failing, there will be no prosper into what we want. John could have given into temptation, he could have given up and died. Without focus, he would have never written down what he saw. We lose focus by getting distracted on everything, think, on everyday things like what we are going to eat, how we're going to survive to the next day, how we want to make money to pay our bills. So most people, time gets out of gets gets out of focus by everyday things. The technology that we have, most of it's useless, but we use it as useful ways in our life to entertain us. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We have up-to-date apps. It's sometimes useless and nobody, it's not something that we really need. We need to sit down and think. If we have problems, we need to pray about them so we can have a way to solve them. Mm -hmm. We have to move away all the distractions that we have in life. With focus, we can achieve a lot. We can find our vision and see God more clearly. With vision, we can see God is making a home with us. Starting now, as people who can work together to bring a new earth and new order to not be so broken, so broken apart from one another. God is the Alpha and the Omega. Beginning and here, he will be with us from beginning to end. And new heaven and new earth, we don't have to fall into trap that can ruin our lives like situations that we are brought into or choose to get into. We don't have to make we don't have to make ignorant decisions. The youth group goes to Lake Providence mostly three times out of a year. We see a lot of poverty in that city, but they have good people. Most of the people know how to work together, and most of them don't. <coughs> <clears throat> if we all can learn to work together, we can accomplish a lot all across the nation instead of nonsense and stupidity. John in Revelation says God will give water as a gift from the spring of water of life. We need to live together. The house, the house God is building is coming soon with peace and love. Mm -hmm. But we can get a head start and start building it now. What can you do today? What can you do for the rest of your life to make, to, to, to be part of this house that God is building? That's the question. No, that's not the question. That's the challenge <laughs> that I'm challenging you to do. Let us pray. <clears throat>